Hey guys, Russo. How are you? It's Friday night. I'm not going to show you no cards tonight. I uh, just figured I'd uh, show my face and uh, have a little uh, powwow with you guys. Something I haven't done in a while. For no particular reason. But I just want to start off by saying, for those who uh, viewed my uh, video from the other day, the card show recap and announcement. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I checked my uh, ledger today and I got about a hundred videos, uh, two a day, so you're going to have me maybe for about 50 more days, maybe a little less, a little more, depending on how I feel when I come home from work or, uh, you know, anyways, uh, so you're going to have me around for a while, but then it's over. And I appreciate all you guys' comments, uh, you know, it's going to be just as hard on me as it is on you, but I checked the other day. I've been on YouTube three years and three months, March 2013. Now, other than my crew, other than my job, other than my wife and Pignoli, I've never been as interested in anything that long as I have with, with YouTube and sharing my hobby, my passion with uh, you guys uh, for these three years or so. Well, it's been a long run, but again, I'm not used to lasting with anything that long a period of time. So it just showed me that, you know, the time flew. I didn't think about it too much. But as I mentioned, I hit the wall. I'm just tired. I got to move on to whatever that something is. I got to find it. You know, I got enough to keep me going uh, besides the, the cards, guys. You know, like I said, I have a prosperous job. I have a crew that I got to work with and take care of sometimes. And between Mrs. Russo and Pignoli, my hands are full. Uh, but I'm going to miss you guys. I'm not saying I'm going anywhere, except I'm not going to really do too much on YouTube. Maybe every once in a blue moon, I'll come on and say hello, see how you guys are doing. Made a lot of friends here on YouTube. Uh, but as I say, I hit the wall. There's really nothing that's going to change that. I'm not one of those kind of guys that say, hey, I'm leaving, and then three days later you see another video, you know. I ain't looking for no uh, sympathy or whatever. It's just that I always keep you guys in the loop, and that loop is now ended. But again, you're going to have me maybe for about 50 days because all the videos I got uploaded. So therefore, you know, you're going to see my breaks, see the cards that I pulled over the last month or two. And then it's done. So again, guys, I appreciate your comments. I'll miss you just as much. Now, number two, I told you, I can't see out of my right eye. I knew it was coming. The doctors told me. I've set up a, a surgery for July 28th. Yeah, four weeks away. You believe them sons of bitches? They couldn't take me any sooner. So for four more weeks, I'm going to be blind in one eye. You think it's easy? When you're looking through one good eye and you open the other one and nothing, you can't see nothing out of it. And it's rough because, you know, I go into the city. I work in Midtown. It's really, really rough. Like uh, today, for example. I was walking down the street. You know, and again, I have to take it easy because I got no peripheral vision, because I got no, no vision out of the eye, and, you know, Manhattan, everybody's running around knocking into you, they don't give a shit. I saw this young woman, she was standing at the corner waiting for the light, and she was beautiful, she was striking. You know, I work around the fashion, uh, the garment center, you know, so there's a lot of designers and, you know, fashion houses and so forth and so on. So I can appreciate a beautiful woman. Look, and I don't cheat on my wife, but look, I said I can still appreciate beauty. I ain't dead yet. So I walk up behind her. She's waiting for the light. And I says, young lady, I just wanted to tell you, a very beautiful face. She turns around. She looks at me and she says, how do you know I have a beautiful face? But you're looking down. That's my ass. I says, oh, excuse me, lady. Well, look, you're lucky you got a beautiful ass because your face, you're freaking ugly. Hey, you know, that wasn't easy, but, you know, I was embarrassed, but she was freaking ugly, but she had a nice looking ass then, I guess. And also, when I get, uh, when I go to the train to come home at night, there's a little Indian guy, an older guy. He's, I've been buying my newspapers for, for, geez, over a year. I try to make a little conversation. He's a nice guy. He knows what I buy every night, obviously, so he's got the paper waiting for me, and I got the money in my hands, and I slide it to him, and I had asked him maybe eight months ago what his name is and he says you know it's hard to understand because he's in india and he's got that accent and then i you know i don't want to embarrass anybody but i think he said his name was shamu or something and a shamu isn't that some kind of name of a freaking walker and a, and a, and a 
you know, in the aquarium, Shamu. I think that's what he told me, but nonetheless. So today, as I was going home on the train, he has the paper waiting for me and he sees me coming and I have the money in my hand. So I slide him the dollar, but it's a dollar for the New York Post that I buy. And he gives me the paper. But he, then all of a sudden he stops me and he looks at me and he starts bowing and everything. You know how to do so. I thought it was a respect kind of thing, so I'm bowing back and he's bowing again and I bow again. Back and forth for like 10 minutes bowing. I don't know what he's trying to tell me. He's, I see he's so freaking happy, but I never saw this reaction and all the time I'm dealing with him. So anyway, so I say, Shamu, uh, you know, can we end this because I want to miss my freaking tr train. He says, thank you, thank you so very much. I appreciate that, you know. And what it was is I handed the guy a freaking hundred dollar bill instead of a dollar bill. I couldn't see because of my eye. You know what? I walked away. Let him have the hundred dollars. What am I going to do? Pull it out of his hand? So like I said, there's a lot of obstacles when you can't see out of one eye. But maybe on July 28th, June 28th, when I have the operation, hopefully everything uh, will be all right. So uh, wish Ricky luck on that, uh, you know. And uh, lastly, before I go, uh, I got a ton of beautiful cards, beautiful cards on Evolution Sports Marketing. This is probably the best load that I have up there right now. There's high end, and there's, I mean, there's the most beautiful stuff. So take a look. Put a bid on something that don't have a bid at $2.99. That's where they all start. If you win it, you're going to have a steal. If not, at least you got the ball rolling. Because, uh, you know, look. I got a lot of shit coming down the road, and uh, you know I don't tell you, but there's two two of my crew members that, uh, in their family. They they came. One of them came down with cancer. The other one's kind of, got a kind of a kidney. Got to get a kidney replaced or something. They all come to Ricky, and I try to help them out cash wise and whatnot because <coughs> that's what Ricky does. So I got a lot of shit. I got to sell some cards. You know, just got to enhance the cash flow a little bit for the time being. So with that said, guys, look, uh, I know I kept you on this too long here. Yeah, I got to run. I got a lot of things to do. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. I'll show you a few more videos. With that said, ciao. All right, guys. Bye.